All you need for today's stretch is a chair. Go ahead and sit down and sit nice and tall. I'm going to take a deep breath and bring the arms overhead. And then exhale, drop those shoulders to the floor. Take the arms back behind you and up again. Taking that deep breath, dropping the shoulders, extending the arms downward. Then moving a little forward on your chair. And you can actually grab the back of the chair. If you don't have a back on the chair, then you can just grab your hands behind you. Lifting your chest to the ceiling and opening up through the shoulders and chest. Take a deep breath and as you exhale, turn to one side. Keep your spine nice and tall. Always breathe comfortably. We're going to come back to the center and then to the other side. Same thing. Nice tall posture. Shoulders are back. Returning to the center. We're going to do it one more time on each side. So as you rotate, see if you can rotate a little bit extra. Back to the center and the other side one more time. Remember to keep yourself nice and tall. Coming back to the center, we're going to go ahead and take one foot forward. You're going to have that leg extended and just hinge at the hips. Your back stays flat. You want to feel that in the back of the leg. Now you can place your arms on your lower back or you can grab the chair behind you to get a greater stretch through the shoulders and chest. Now bring that knee right into your chest, and while you do that, sit up very tall with this nice straight back. Continue breathing comfortably, and place that leg down. This time, you're going to hinge at the hips, and stretch again. You can also have your arms out in front, if that's more comfortable for you, or helps you keep your back straight. So pull that knee into the chest one more time. And then we will be moving on to the other leg. So that leg extends in front of you. You're going to hinge at the hips. That helps you to keep your back flat. Hands can be behind you or out in front of you, whichever you find more comfortable. And you're going to just hold it and breathe nice and steady. Now pulling that knee into the chest, extend your spine to the ceiling as if your head was going to touch the ceiling. Continue to breathe comfortably, then place that leg down and reset. Hinging at the hips and feeling that stretch in the back of the leg, right through the hamstring. You can even pull your toe towards your face if you want to get a little bit more stretch in the calf. Then coming up, one more time, knee into your chest, nice and tall. Shoulders back and down. And returning to our neutral position. So bring your arms overhead and reach backwards. Each time you reach back, you're pressing back a little bit more. And same thing when you come down, you want to stretch those shoulders out. Now take it to one side. Think of lifting your body off your hips. Not so much of reaching the arms. And then coming back down, repeating our shoulder stretches. Now this time we're going straight out with the palms forward. And you're going to swan dive forward. That means you're sticking your chest out, pushing your hands to the ceiling. Then you're going to come back all the way up to the top. Drop those shoulders, take it to one side. Lifting your upper body off your hips. And then coming back towards the center and going to the other side. Same thing. The arms are back by your ears. You are lifting your body up off your hips towards the ceiling. Now coming back to the center, relax the arms. Rotate them so the palms face the rear and swan dive downward. So you're pushing those arms upward as your chest goes forward. And then scooping up. We're going to go ahead and open on the diagonal, and as you do that, squeeze your shoulder blades. Change directions and squeeze those shoulder blades. Focus on pulling the shoulders down while you squeeze them right in the back. And get that stretch through the arms and the chest. Coming down, we're actually going to stand up for a moment and then sit right back down again. So this is like our chair squat or regular squat. With the arms out front, it's a more challenging squat, but we're also going to be bringing it into the chair pose for yoga. 
So sit down, but don't touch the chair with your butt and then bring the arms straight up. So almost like a fake squat, you're gonna sit down a little and then you're gonna stand up. Now bring those arms back and squeeze your shoulder blades. Take your feet shoulder width apart and squeeze your shoulder blades back. Reach one arm up and a little bit over, still lifting your upper body off your hips. Taking to the other side, same thing. Upper body comes off the hips as you tilt slightly and stretch between the hip and the upper body. One more time each way. Use your exhale and think of lifting up to the ceiling and expanding your spine nice and long. Same thing, other side. Knees are slightly bent as you're holding this and continuing to lift and lengthen. Coming back to the center, we're gonna take it around towards the back of the chair. You're gonna set your posture, shoulders back and down, and we're gonna hold on to the chair for some balance so that we can stretch the quadricep, bringing the foot up to the back of the butt. Now it's important that you hold on to something. I want you to focus on the stretch not your balance. So you're just taking that thigh, moving it backwards. And switching to the other side, same thing. Set your posture first, shoulders back and down, grab that foot. You want your knee to point to the ground and you want to keep your body nice and straight while you're doing this stretch. You can hold on to a counter or a wall if that's easier for you than the chair. Now returning to the other side, we're going to do some Frankensteins or leg swings. So we're just gonna move that leg back and forth. And you're gonna think about stretching the hamstring and the hip flexor. So as you go forward, it's hamstring. Going backwards, it's hip flexor. We're gonna change legs. And same thing, the knee is straight and you focus on the stretch through a range of motion. You can loosen that up with a couple of knee lifts. And then we're gonna reset your posture and do that quadricep stretch again. This time it should be a little looser and you should have a little greater range of motion. Still keeping your body tall and just moving the thigh backwards. Reset the posture, get the other side. So your hand holds your leg so that you can stretch, but you're really taking that thigh and moving it backwards, starting from the hip. And just hold and breathe. Now release. And we're gonna go to the back of the chair and just get some side leg Frankensteins or leg swings. Just think of extending that leg outward as if it was coming out of your hip and away from your body. And get that inner thigh to stretch a little bit. That is part of the hamstring, which we're gonna stretch right now. So stagger the feet, hold on to the chair if that helps your stability. And what we're gonna do is just reach to the ceiling and lift that rear leg a little bit. And just extend through. And then we're gonna hold the position and we're gonna stretch that hip flexor, which is the front of that back leg. So the arm goes by your ear. You're gonna push your hips forward and showing you from the side, there's no leaning in your back. It's just pushing your hips underneath you to get that stretch in that hip flexor of the rear leg. So bringing that down, loosen it up a little bit and take it to the other side. We'll do the other leg. Shoulders back and down, set your posture, stomach tight. A couple of swings here, reach into the ceiling. And then we'll come to our stationary position and push those hips underneath you to get that stretch in the hip flexor. Remember, it's just your hips going forward. It's not your back arching, you're not doing a back bend. And you wanna feel it all the way from the shoulder down to the top of the hip. Go ahead and loosen that up and then get back to the chair and have a seat. And pull those shoulders back and down, sit up very tall, make sure you're comfortable there. And now we're gonna take one ankle and put it on the opposite knee. Now it's important that you keep your back very straight when we do this because we're gonna bend forward slightly from the hips. Again, hinging at the hips and you should feel that stretch in the bent leg up towards the glutes and maybe even the inner thigh. And if you wanna hold onto the bottom of the chair to help you, that's fine. You can also hold onto the back of the chair to stretch your chest a little bit. Then we're gonna come back to the center. We're gonna take that knee angle it across towards the opposite shoulder. So now you're stretching still the glute, but a little more through the side of the thigh. 
Continue to hold that leg, pushing the knee towards the opposite shoulder as you sit nice and tall and breathe comfortably. Take that down, pull it a little closer, maybe push your leg a little bit away from you if you can. Help stretch that inner thigh. And then we're going to repeat that. So nice and tall, hands can be at your side or they can be behind you. You can put them out in front if you prefer, but you want to keep your back nice and straight. Hinging always just from the hips. Keep your comfortable breathing and then straighten up. Nice and tall, pull that knee across your body to the opposite shoulder. And remember to keep those shoulders down away from your ears so you can get the stretch and focus. Continue to take those nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then relax and we're going to switch sides. So reset your posture, but first let's take those arms overhead with a nice deep breath and then relax. Big tall breath and then release. Now taking the other leg ankle on top of the opposite knee and they might not be exactly as flexible as the first leg, but sit up tall and get ready to do our stretch. Hinging at the hips, hands can be at your side, they can hold on to the chair, no matter which way you do it, it's all going to be good. Make sure you're keeping your back straight and hinging at the hip to feel that glute stretch. This is the seated version of the pigeon from yoga. Grab that knee, pull it across your body towards the opposite shoulder and keep your shoulders down. Shoulder blades are slightly pinched and you still want to feel it stretch right through the glutes and outer thigh. Not quite as intense as the seated pigeon, but still a good stretch. So taking that back in, readjusting if you need to, press that thigh away. Get a little more distance between the thigh and the hip. And then get ready to do our stretch one more time. So nice tall back, shoulders back and down with a nice deep breath. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Hands can be where you want them to be as long as your back stays straight. Continue with your breathing to help that muscle relax. Then straighten up and go ahead and pull that leg across your body to the opposite shoulder. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall with your shoulders back and down and even a little pinch in those shoulder blades. Taking that down. Let everything relax for a moment and you can even scoot a little bit forward on that chair. And we're going to lift the heels and lower just to stretch through the calves a little bit. Lift your heels and lower. Then stand up. We're actually going to the back of the chair again and you're going to hold on the outside of the chair depending on how wide your chair back is and just gently press your chest to the floor. So from the side you see I'm keeping my back straight. Knees are slightly bent. Shoulders away from the ears not pulling on the chair, just using it as a place to rest your hands so that you can get that good stretch between the shoulders and the chest. Then we're coming back to the top and take those hands out in front of you and overhead. You can clasp your fingers or you can keep the hands together. Then we're going to push it forward. This is an angry cat stretch. I'm pushing my hips underneath me. And now I'm going to sit up real tall with a tight stomach and then come right back down. We're going to do the cat stretch seated also. So sticking that tailbone underneath you, then reaching up tall, getting that upper body off your hips. And then one more time, just taking that tailbone and pushing it right underneath you. It should feel really good. And remember you're breathing. As you come down, squeeze your shoulder blades together a few times. Always resetting that posture. And then we're going to cross one leg completely over the other one and sit up very tall and turn to the side like we did in the beginning of our workout. You can grab the back of the chair to help you turn a little extra, but just make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears and you're sitting very tall and you're holding this and breathing. Coming back to the center, we're actually going to take that leg off and put the other one on and stretch the other side. Shoulders back and down and turning away. You can brace yourself against that front leg and you can also use the chair 
to help you rotate and hold, keeping those shoulders down and inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Nice, comfortable breathing. Return to the center and reset with that perfect posture. We're going to take your hands at your head and bring the elbows forward and back. Bring your elbows back as far as you can, squeezing your shoulder blades. We always need to open up through the chest and shoulders to keep a good posture. So squeeze those shoulder blades together and bring those hands down. One more time, we're going to do our rotation. So sit up nice and tall, turning to one side, resetting your posture, keeping your chest up, shoulders down away from your ears, and just trying to rotate a little bit more or at least hold it a little bit longer. Coming back to the center, we're going to swap those legs and reset. Don't rush into this. Set your shoulders, set your posture, set your turn, and then hold. Using that hand to help brace and give you a little more turn. And then the other hand can really go wherever is most comfortable for you. Returning to the center. Go ahead and relax and take those hands right behind you. Onto your lower back, we're going to open up the elbow. So this is your shoulders, your rotator cuff. You're going to feel a lot in the front of the shoulders. And again, for your posture to help you stand upright. Reach those fingertips to the ground and turn your head to one side. And then to the other side. So just looking over your shoulder and then to the other side. Pulling those shoulders away from your ears nice and tall. We're going to look to the ceiling and then look down. So we're angled with the head, stretching the neck, looking down and up. Taking it nice and slowly, then coming back to the center, pulling those shoulders back and down and doing it one more time, but on the other side. So looking up and then down. We're looking at a little bit of an angle, not over the shoulder, to stretch the neck. Then coming back to the center, take a deep breath, squeeze your shoulder blades together and raise those arms. Drop from the shoulders and then raise those arms again and leave them there so that we can stretch the triceps. So taking one hand, working it down your back and holding the elbow with the other hand. You want to feel that tricep stretch and your chest stretch. Sitting nice and tall and breathing, we're going to bring that down and pull those shoulders back and down before we move on to the next arm. So take the other one up and behind the head, hold that tricep stretch. Keep your chin up, make sure your spine is nice and straight and your head is right there on the top. Bring those arms down, squeeze those shoulder blades, get your good posture. Hands are coming in front. We're going to take one arm across the body and just hold. Do not let your body rotate with that. Switching sides, grab the other wrist and just pull it across the front of you. Feeling that across the upper back and into the rear of the shoulder. Coming back to the center, let that relax and reset your posture. Squeezing those shoulder blades together, loosening it up through the fingers. With a deep breath, we're going overhead for one more time. Remember, you're pushing back a little bit while you hold that elbow. And taking nice deep breaths, expanding the spine, opening up through the chest. Then take it up. We'll reset those shoulder blades and then come back over top for one more time. So taking that arm behind you, get yourself nice and set. The head should be straight forward, not looking down. And gently pushing that arm back, increasing that stretch and just holding and breathing comfortably. Release. Coming right back down to that shoulder blade squeeze. Pulling those shoulder blades together. Always need to reinforce that posture. And go ahead and stand up and take a deep breath straight up. And as you exhale, tilt to one side and then the other, like a willow tree in the wind. Bringing those arms down. We're going to come out to the front, stretch across that arm. Now, if you wanted to do this seated, that would be fine too but you're stretching that arm across your body, so keep your body nice and straight, and then just take the arm across your chest. Always nice and tall. Pull those shoulders back. Remember that perfect posture. 
Loosen it all up through the fingers and through the feet. And you're done. <laughs>